Okay, so a quick word on chillers. Uh, so here I have a one-tenth horsepower water chiller. It's for an aquarium. The brand is Eco Plus. I picked this up on Craigslist used for, I think, $120 or $150 US. And, uh, yeah, let me show you how I've got this hooked up, because maybe you're wondering. Uh, so these chillers typically have half-inch piping, or I guess that would be, what, 13 millimeter? Uh, and the laser uses quarter-inch tubing, so you need a nylon half-inch to quarter-inch reduction. And that's what these are here. I have a short section, uh, 100, 100 millimeters or so of uh, half-inch tubing for the adapter, and then I have a, uh, a uh, pipe clamp on each of these to keep them from, from leaking. Uh, so the pump, the water coming out of the bucket in the back, is going into the inlet on this side. So directly from the pump to the chiller input uh, through the uh, size reduction or size increase, I don't know. It goes in, gets chilled. Uh, you can see it's reading 65 right now. It's actually chilling to the set temperature, which is 55 uh, F. So that's... Uh, what is 55F? That's, that's pretty cold. Anyway, uh, the laser will run about 17 degrees C uh, with it set at that if I'm running it continually. You sort of have to play with it and it, it depends on the climate outside. Today's about uh, uh, 20 or 19 Celsius or 70 degrees. So a little bit cool. Uh, anyway, so the output goes uh, into your laser and then the return goes to the bucket from the laser and that's it and if you haven't seen the other video on how to set up your bucket uh, that one also came out today so have a look at that one okay if you haven't already uh, be sure and subscribe ring that bell for notifications and give me a thumbs up if this helped you out a little bit thanks for watching